The one thing about me, uh, you don't have to coach my effort. I'm going to give 110 percent when I step on the court. Spin move by Dotson. Are you serious? Dotson. There you go. There you go. Dotson gets his screen. Dotson. I, mean, I feel like the reason why I'm entering draft now, um, I, the time is right. You know, what I showed this past season, talked to my coaching staff, my family, and um, you know, I'm ready for that next challenge, you know, that next step in my life. The longest draft process ever, right? You know, I think we all know that. But, you know, all in all, it's been really good for him, I think. This is probably the biggest gap of time when he's really been able to focus on himself and his individual skill. We're all anxious, we're, we're ready for November 18th, but um, I think it has been good. In, in that he's been able to work on himself and, and get better. He's had to endure a lot of um, patience, a lot of flexibility, uh, but you know what? It's just gonna make him tougher and that much more of a pro uh, at the next level. Dotson, yes! Dotson leaves in. Yes! Uh, looking back on this Kansas year, um, it, it was special. Uh, we're number one in the nation for three straight weeks. We won the conference title. That was our goal coming into the season. Oh boy, Dotson for three. That late game success, uh, I think it's just a natural um, thing that I've always had since I was little. I never wanted to lose in anything. Uh, it could be a card game, Uno game. Uh, I, I'm just never trying to lose. We play in the basement a lot, and like um, sometimes we'll play one on one, and um, it will get kind of rough because you know we're pretty physical. We both hated to lose, so we would kind of go back and forth, and get mad because one person fouled each other too hard. I went to um, the same school as him um, when he was in middle school, and like he was like the star, you know, of the basketball team. That's when he started taking it seriously because he was really good at such a young age. Around sixth grade, um, my older brother actually. Uh, the reason why I got serious with it, he, uh, he he's three years older than me, and that's when he started to get serious with it. So I tried to follow in his footsteps, and uh, that's when things started to pick up, started to see my game uh, advance. He grew up watching Derrick Rose, so that's kind of been the, the person that he's watched at an early age. And, um, you know, he modeled a lot of his game because, you know, he had quickness, he had some uh, explosiveness uh, like Derrick. Um, how Derek likes to attack the basket and attack in transition. And, you know, those are the two biggest strengths of, of Devon is just being able to beat his man off the dribble and the push tempo in transition. It's been an incredible journey. He's always played at a, a high level. He's always been very competitive. Um, you know, all three, all three children. You know, sports in general just teaches a lot of life lessons. My seventh grade year, um, which was his fourth grade year, we played on the same like travel team. You know, he was three grades behind me, and like I saw like how he was, you know, competing with us, competing with my peers, competing with seventh graders at, the, at fourth grade. So at that time, I knew like, oh no, he's he's, he's pretty good in basketball, and I think that you know, he can take it far. Sports in general has have, has always been big in our family, um, but basketball has kind of taken uh, the the main focus. My my sister got into it. Uh, my brother plays. Um, it's just a sport that we all love. When we were playing one-on-one, -on -one, we would kind of like visualize us like in the NBA. So we would like play against the invisible team as if we were an NBA team. We, we would go back to our rooms, like uh, get on the plane, do interviews between games, and kind of just like experience the whole NBA. It's been a long wait, so it's going to be a sense of relief almost. Like, oh, we, we, you know, we're finally here and just knowing where your, you know, child is going to be and, and grow and thrive. Well, I mean, what I learned most is control what you can control. Um, you know, there, there, there's things that are going to be above what you can control. And as long as you stay level-headed, stay locked in and continue to work at it every day, stuff should find its way. You know, the amount of work and amount of dedication that it takes, you know, you can't, I mean, sometimes on the weekends you want to go hang out, you know, you got to stay in the gym and, uh, you know, work overtime, but, you know, I wouldn't trade it for anything. As a big brother, seeing my little brother accomplish all his dreams, it's definitely going to be a proud feeling and, and I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's just been gratifying as a dad just to see uh, how hard he's worked at it and the benefits that he's receiving from it. Just really grateful for this opportunity and, and we know he's going to do do big things. For him to be able to live his dream is not only inspiring, but I'm just like genuinely proud for him because I know that's what he's always wanted since he was little. 